year, we have celebrated the 50th anniversary of establishment of diplomatic relationship between Japan and Bangladesh. We also have reached 50th year of JICA's cooperation in Bangladesh. Over the years, JICA has been the single largest bilateral development partner of our country. Father of the nation of Bangladesh, Bangabundu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, dreamt of building Shonar Bangla, meaning Golden Bangladesh, a country free of poverty, hunger, and deprivation. In the international arena, his visit to Japan in 1973 cemented the foundation of friendship and set the tone of Japan-Bangladesh bilateral relations. Carrying his legacy, our Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina is leading the country towards the path of progress with the vision of growth and development based on equity and justice. During her visit to Japan in 2014, the relationship between Bangladesh and Japan has been upgraded to comprehensive partnership. Since then, the volume of JICA's ODS support has been increased considerably. Goal of the government of Bangladesh is to create a country of inclusive growth and prosperity. We thank the development partners for their continuous support in our endeavors. JICA's financial and technical assistance, especially under the Big B initiative, that is the Bay of Bengal Industrial Growth Belt Initiative, has been complementing Bangladesh government's efforts to boost up infrastructure, transport, communications, power, and energy sectors. JICA's mega scale support includes Bongobundu Bridge on the River Jumuna, Medra Gopti Bridge, and many other bridges you have seen during the video display. Under construction mega projects, currently include Bongobundu Sheikh Mujib Railway Bridge, Dhaka Mass Rapid Transit, Transit that is MRT system, Hazrat Shah Jalal International Airport Terminal 3, Matavari Seaport, etc. We thankfully acknowledge JICA's support in all our endeavors. Let us mention a few areas where existing cooperation could be enhanced more. Firstly, there is room for further strengthening JICA's support for strategic human resource development in public and private sectors by making full use of training opportunities and scholarship programs. The scope and number of JDS and mixed scholarships can be extended for Bangladesh, considering the large population and prospect. These programs are helping the capacity development of both public and private sectors in Bangladesh. BJET program, that is Bangladesh-Japan ICT Engineers Training Program in Miyajaki Prefecture, proved successful. And as a follow-up, second phase of BJET has also started. Miyajaki model can be replicated in other parts of Japan too. As Japan navigates through depopulation and labor market rebalancing, JICA's assistance for private sector human resource development in Bangladesh will lead to a win-win scenario. On the one hand, it will contribute to skilled workforce and augment technical education in Bangladesh. On the other hand, it will fill up the workforce gap in cutting-edge technology industries in Japan. Secondly, the healthcare sector. JICA's further focus to improve the nursing and healthcare services would be beneficial for both Japan and Bangladesh. Given the current trend, in future there would be increasing demand to support the aging population, creating a pool of skilled nurses and caregivers with Japanese language proficiency, culture, and professional knowledge would bring about mutual benefit for both the countries. Thirdly, the environment. With rapid industrialization and urbanization in Bangladesh, environmental pollution in rivers, air, and lands are increasing. Coordinated actions with appropriate legal framework and enforcement mechanism should help mitigate the problem. Disaster management capacity has been developed over the years, but climate change induced heavy rains and floods are posing new challenges. While capital investment and technologies are needed to address them, Governance requires explicit attention and consistent efforts at both national and local levels. Japan has announced to achieve zero carbon by 2050. Here, the government, industry, and academia are working together to achieve this goal. 
collaborative projects with JICA can be taken up in Bangladesh too to fight against those global challenges of environment and climate change. Ladies and gentlemen, Bangladesh is strongly marching ahead in the growth trajectory by achieving targeted milestones one after another. We are in the middle of implementing eighth five-year plan in Bangladesh, which represents the first phase of our perspective plan vision 2041. Our aim is to attain upper middle income country status, fulfill major SDG targets, and eliminate extreme poverty by the year 2031, and become high income developed country by 2041. We thank the development partners, especially our closest friend Japan, for helping us in our steady progress. It is also worth mentioning that we have proven our capacity by constructing mega projects like the Pabda Bridge by our own financing without any ODS support. I am delighted to mention that Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina will open the Pabda Bridge to traffic this month on 25th June. We assign high value to JICA's support in our development initiatives. It is important that JICA continues to consult with Economic Relations Division, that is ERD of Bangladesh government, right from the project selection process. ERD is responsible for assessment, mobilization, negotiation, and allocation of all economic aid, that is ODS support from the external sources. The channel of ERD should be fully utilized by all the development partners including JICA, for appropriate identification and selection of projects by various ministries and agencies, and thus support effective implementation of national development strategies and plans in Bangladesh successfully. Dear friends, Japan is one of the most popular countries among the people of Bangladesh. So is the name JICA. Even a school kid in the remote areas of Bangladesh knows the word JICA. This indicates a great success of our 20, 50 years journey together. Now, we need to plan for the next 50 years. It would be useful to have regular interactions to discuss mechanisms in order to identify, implement, and evaluate projects to make them more effective, efficient, and sustainable. JEC, or the Joint Economic Commission could be arranged annually to hold extensive dialogue on economic issues between Japan and Bangladesh. So far, ERD has JEC or similar forum with about 16 other countries. I would like to conclude by emphasizing on the words beginning with the prefix CO, CO. Right from the beginning of taking up any project or program, JICA and the government of Bangladesh should co-plan and co-design then co-implement, co-review, and co-execute -exec again. And at the end, there should be co-evaluation to conclude. In the context of JICA's support and assistance over the last 50 years, our expectation from JICA in the next 50 years is nothing less than stronger cooperation and enhanced collaboration. Thank you very much. Arigatou gozaimashita.